everybody. Welcome back. No one has a budget. We're going to do another garden tour. I'm going to try to do these every Monday till the end of the season. So this is my garden as a whole. Got potatoes over there. So my potatoes are definitely growing nicely now. Some of them sprouted, some of them do not. That's why it's kind of empty in here. They might still sprout. They're just taking forever. I've got a watermelon. Or actually, these are cantaloupe. I've got another cantaloupe right there. Oops. Oh, that one down there. And another one. I've got a lot of cantaloupe. Or cantaloupe. I can't talk right now. This is chamomile. We do have some of some that's semi alive, but the chamomile really took over. Got a bell pepper with a bunch of little peppers on it. We've got another cantaloupe. We've got a big one right there. This one's not doing so hot. And then we've got a jalapeno with some jalapenos. Look at that. And we got two green bean plants. starting to flower and produce fruit now. I've got some thyme. This is a hot pepper mix, I believe. Or it might be another jalapeno. I need to go look. But this is a hot pepper mix. It is loaded. I'm pretty sure these are supposed to change color. That's why I haven't really picked any. But it is loaded. And then we have another watermelon. This one looks okay. There's a small one down there starting to grow. So I almost fall. And we got another watermelon. With a bunch of little babies growing on it. And then we got another little watermelon baby over there. Another one. I'm gonna see if I can't do any more pollinating over here. And then we have a barrel full of green beans. And they're all starting to flower. Alright. My first planting of zinnias bloomed. And then we got these dwarf sunflowers that are getting to that point. And we have my little zinnias down there that are still growing. Got some onions that are not looking that hot. Hoping they get a little bit bigger. And then we got cherry tomatoes. We've got Roma tomatoes. That's all these tomatoes in the middle with the cages. And then I have some carrots hidden down here with some dill. It's just, I have dill trees at this point. And then we have three spaghetti plant, spaghetti squash plants. We've got a nice one there. Another nice one there. These spaghetti squash plants are just freaking massive at this point. And we got a third one right there. Some of these might be growing. I have a bunch of diatomaceous earth that I put on these to get rid of the uh, potato beetles. And, of course, I did that and went through all the work, and then it rained. I got some baby squash that some are fertilized. Some of them might be fertilized, some of them might not. I'm not entirely sure. And then we got calendula. It's doing pretty good. I need to harvest some of this. And then we've got some... Some of this is Wonder Bell, and some, I think some of this is just regular Bell. But we've got plenty of fruit and stuff growing. I need to harvest some more of these. These are the small Wonder Bells. They're uh, kind of like a purpley color. And then we've got plenty of cherry tomatoes staked, staked up and tied up. These are the clips I use. I'll link them down below. But we got fruit on all of them. Even the ones that aren't doing that hot. Like this one that I accidentally, you know, decapitated. But they're surviving. This one's got new growth on it. 
Yeah, we'll have to see where that one goes. Oh, and over there, I got basil. That's sweet basil. All right. And then my hanging basket that I got from Walmart is doing okay. It's pretty. So that is my garden tour. Thank you for watching. I'll link my BCL shoutouts down below. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.